Okay, so for this one, we need to integrate the equation in the book with I lambda equals B lambda. And see what we get. So if we integrate with all outwards directions, I'm going to say that f of lambda d lambda equals b lambda d lambda integral phi equals 0 to 2 pi integral theta equals 0 to pi over 2 cosine of theta sine theta d theta d phi and this must equal pi times b lambda d lambda now what we want to do is integrate over all wavelengths to get the total flux. So when we do that, I'm going to say that f equals the integral, 0 to infinity, f of lambda d lambda, and that must equal pi times the integral, 0 to infinity, b lambda d lambda, and that just equals pi sigma t to the fourth over pi or sigma t to the fourth. And then finally, if we integrate over the flux, integrate or integrate the flux over the surface area of a sphere, we get the total L. So L equals integral phi equals 0 to 2 pi, integral theta equals 0 to pi, f r squared, sine theta d theta d phi, and that equals 4 pi r squared sigma t to the fourth, and this is the famous equation. And we're done.